Hi everyone, this is Pete here. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about the latest EC in Singapore, Altura, and its record-breaking transaction. Does this make EC a good investment or actually is there something better you can consider? And at the end, watch till the end, I'm going to share with you my top three replacement project for Altura EC. Let's dive straight into it. So before we begin, let's take a look at the resale market transaction right now. So over here, you can see once again, we continue the trend, right? Uh, the last seven months, we have been having lower prices in the resale market. But for those of you who have been my follower, you will know that it is not enough to just look at a generic trend like this because the Singapore is not a uniform island, right? There are certain areas that are doing better and there are certain areas that's not doing as well. So where is the area that is not doing so well? So this is the chart where I break it down into different regions, right? In the RCR region, OCR region, and of course, CCR region. So you can see over here, the main culprit that is bringing down the Singapore property market right now is actually the CCR market. So this is actually last month. Now, we have already finished up September. So what happened in the month of September? Let's take a look over here, a very small change. You just need to focus at the price changes here. Right? So you can see very clearly the RCR and OCR uh, price trend is still holding on quite nicely and the CCR also stopped the decline and started to trend sideways for once. Right? So will this continue and uh, bring more stability to the market? I'm not sure, right? but I think the important thing is not just to look at the broader trend but to look down into individual areas, individual projects and ask yourself, are there gems to be found? Because that's the whole purpose of buying property, right? If you just follow the broad trend, then you will never be able to do better than the rest, right? It's about putting in the effort and finding the best property that you can. And that's what I love to do uh, in the property market. So over here, I want to share a few things with you guys. Number one is a lot of times when people look at the market, they always say, hey Pete, you know, should I buy a smaller project? So over here, I found a chart that was very interesting and I think it'll give you some perspective about buying uh, smaller size condominiums. So over here, you can see there are many lines over here. I just want to focus on two colors. One is the yellow color, which is the small condominium sizes. So this is anything that's less than 500 square feet, uh, I believe, right? Another one is actually the non-central area, but excluding the small size unit. So this is the green color one. Now, I want you to look at these two lines over here. You can see that these two lines, they used to be moving almost in tandem in the past. But in the last two years, ever since COVID, there seems to be a much higher preference for the non-central area, excluding the smaller units. That means people don't like to buy anything that's too small, less than 500 square feet, right? You can see that the green line, the slope is uh, a lot steeper than the yellow line, right? That means the yellow line, which is a smaller units, the price increase is a lot lesser. And you can see over here, indeed, right? All different segments increased by about 1% on a month-on-month -month change, whereas the small units only went up by 0.4. Does this mean that small units, anything less than 500 square feet, is not investable? Not really, right? If your budget only allows for that, of course, that can be an option. What it shows you here is this. If you have the resources to buy something that is bigger, right? Do try to go for something that people really want. And what we can see right now is that the demand is more skewed towards three bedrooms and above. Another good news in the property market is that the on block right, market is starting to have some action. So recently we saw that a Chinese company's Bright Ruby Resources bought Far East Shopping Center. This is a shopping center that I've seen it for many, many years. It has always been there and it's only famous for um, a few things. But right now it is on block for $908 million and this works out to be a PSF of 3,350 per square foot. This breaks the previous record that was held by Ming Arcade that was 3,125. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the demand for the central area is still strong but maybe not in the residential segment but in the retail and commercial space segment as well. So of course, the latest news that is also the hottest right now is about Altura EC, right? So this is the latest executive condominium that was launched. And right now it holds the record price of 1,585. This is insane. This prices is really bringing this EC very close to the normal condominium prices already. And in fact, this is not just a uh, outlier price that, you know, that happens to be uh, appearing. In fact, this is a very standard uh, 980 square feet condominium, right? So it is not an outlier price. In fact, if you look at the current existing price, you can see that 
we have many transactions that transacted close to that record breaking price as well. With this high price in EC, does it mean that EC is still a good investment? Or is there something else, something better for you to consider, right? To me, is this? it all depends on what you want, right? So during my one-on-one with my uh, consultation client, I always ask them, what do you need? Do you need to move into the space immediately or do you want to get rental income as soon as possible? And if you want that, I have three possible options for you. Now, these are projects that just newly TOP, okay? So they are none other than Treasure at Tampines, Riverfront Residences in the Aukang area, and also Ola in the Sengkang area. So these three projects just newly TOP, right? If you get them, you're as good as the first owner. No one has stayed in those places before and you're getting new facilities so you can immediately move into it or even rent it out. And looking at the location, if you compare Altura EC that is so far away from the MRT, these three other projects are much closer to their respective MRT station and also amenities as well. And guess what? The prices for these three condominiums is also around 1,500 per square foot. And you do not have to wait for it to finish. No matter you are buying it for own stay or investment sense, it really, really pays off for you to consider other things rather than what is being launched, right? What is being sold? Because I was talking to a client recently, right? That I told him sometimes a lot of the new launches gets a lot of attention. It's not because they are good products. It's simply because they are very hyped up. They are very marketed and that attracted a lot of eyeballs. So guys, I hope you all find this video useful. What do you think about Ultra EC? Do you think it's a good condominium? Type in the chat below. And once again, if you like the video, do like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.